Welcome to C.11.2. We're going to describe and explain in molecular terms the workings of a twisted pneumatic liquid crystal. So this is a little more in detail than what was looked at in the SL. So here we have some pictures that will help illustrate this idea as we go through. So the liquid crystal is between two glass plates which have scratches at 90 degrees to each other. So you can see here the grooves in this one are horizontal, in this one um, 90 degrees to that. Now what will happen is the molecules form a twisted arrangement between the plates due to intermolecular bonds. So what happens is these molecules um, will align within the grooves at that surface and due to their um, actual intermolecular forces um, they will influence the direction of the one next to them and then next to them. But because we have this happening on both ends in, at angles of 90 degrees to each other um, the, there will actually be a slight transition, um, this twisting that we call it, and what that twisting allows is for light to pass through. Now when the polarizers are aligned with the glass, light or with the scratches in the glass, the light will pass through and the pixel will appear bright. But if we apply a voltage to our pixel, uh, what that can do is it can cause the um, molecules to align in a different way so it disrupts uh, this actual twisting motion so that uh, in this case the positive end of the particle goes up and the negative end goes down and as a result we've lost this twisting motion this allows the molecules to absorb the light or prevent the light from passing through and so the pixel would appear dark.